we went to our first country concert the other night and it was so fun. I've never really remembered and I'm just saying like it was, it's a whole different experience when you actually remember the concert. It's really nice leaving completely sober, driving home without any drama. I was talking to a friend and establishing boundaries is like super important. But what it comes down to is the boundaries, you have to communicate these boundaries and they are for you and they are for no one else. And we just have to realize that, that we have to do what's best for us in any situation, even if it means distancing ourselves from people, we have to one, be upfront with those boundaries. Two, we have to make sure that they know that it's okay, that we don't have to come to every function. And three, like, you don't have to put up with the things and put yourself in situations that you don't want to. So if you don't want to go to that celebration that you were invited to, that's completely okay. That's fine. People are going to have to get over that. If you don't want to see certain people as often as you used to, that's also fine. I mean, when you're growing and doing something better for yourself, there is nothing wrong with taking a break for yourself, figuring it out and doing what's best for you. And I think this is what has helped me in my sobriety is I've been okay with not doing things. I've been okay with saying no and I've been okay with like not being able to like, I mean, I know that I'm not gonna cope in every situation very well. And it's not that I'm gonna drink, it's more that I'm just gonna be more pissed off than anything. And I don't want that, nobody wants that. Everybody just wants to have a good time. And it's hard. Some people are going to have a hard time with it, but they will come around. I know this for a fact. I've distanced myself from people, but you know, there's always a way to come back. You just have to be firm in what you want for yourself. Be firm in saying no and being firm and realizing like, what is like, what do you want for your life? Have you ever asked yourself that? Are you happy with what you're doing in your life? Are you miserably drinking? Are you just can't put the bottle down? But is it because of the people that you're hanging out with? Have you ever thought about that? When you surround yourself with like-hearted and like-minded people, it's a whole different game changer. You just cannot give up. You have to do what's best for you, what's best for your family, and hopefully those people will follow. And hopefully, like, like the grief comes with losing parts of you that you might miss. Like you might miss being the one that was the life of the party. You might miss being the one that was always invited to things. Um, Recently, I found out that I wasn't invited to something. And I was like, wow, it's funny. When we used to drink, we were totally invited. <laughs> we would have been invited. But you have to be okay with being okay. Like, and I know that sounds weird, but you have to be okay with not getting the invites and not being included in everything because you're changing. And alcohol is a huge part of our society and a lot of people have a hard time not understanding why you gave up alcohol. 
So I am learning this and I'm not saying it's easy, but it's definitely doable. Um, you can go on hikes by yourself, even though it is more fun. You can go to the movies more often. You can find friends that don't drink. You can put yourself around family that supports you. Um, and you don't have to be included in every single thing in life. And I think when I was the drinker, I felt like I had a place in everybody's life because I was the life of the party. But I really was just the drunk. I was bringing no value to anybody's life. And here I am changing people's life and enjoying it. Like I enjoy being sober more than I liked being the drinker. And it's hard for people to accept that, but you just have to accept yourself. Acceptance and boundaries, I think go hand in hand. Because if you can accept setting those boundaries, then you can accept like the negative things that are thrown at you and being okay with being lonely for a little bit. I'm finally out of phase 12 and a half months sober that I've learned to accept that not everybody is going to be my friend anymore. I've learned to accept that it's okay to distance ourselves from people we love. And I've learned that these people will eventually come, come around. And it just has to be on our own time frame that we're okay with this and our own time frame that we do everything. So, I mean, look, I used to go to concerts only with my friends and now I pretty much just go with my husband because like we have the same, like we both don't want to drink. We don't want to be around like annoying people and then we can make fun of the people that are drinking and watch all the drama unfold, which is quite entertaining. I know like how much money I've wasted on alcohol thinking it could get me through like so many social events. But once I learned to accept that alcohol doesn't have to be a part of every single thing of my life, life became a lot more fun. Friends come and go, family, I mean, they're there to stay, but they uh, distance themselves too. And you distance yourself. It's okay to do things out of the normal that people aren't used to you doing. You can journal, you can call a friend, you can talk to a community, you can go for a walk. Like, you just have to stay busy and figure out ways. If you really want to do better for yourself, you just pretty much have to do it. I mean, there's no excuses. There's no like perfect timeline. Mondays aren't always the answer. New Year's resolutions aren't always the answer because how many times do people fail those? I mean, quite often, huh? Um, a lot of people make it three months and then they give up on their nutrition, their diet, or whatever it is that they had. But I, and that's why I never said that I've had a New Year's resolution because <laughs> I think they're stupid. I think that you have to start as soon as you have the thought. You cannot wait because you're gonna keep failing. As soon as you think that you're ready, you just start. And if you fail a couple days later, you just keep trying and trying and trying. There's no rhyme or reason to any of this. It's all in your mindset. We all have to like just accept what is and what will be. And if you think that alcohol was 
or is the only answer, I highly suggest you look in the mirror and actually have a conversation with yourself and see what alcohol is actually doing to your life. Is it bettering it? Because I highly, highly doubt it. Are you okay with how you feel? Probably not. Just like nutrition. Like, alcohol and nutrition, I feel, go hand in hand. You have to set boundaries. If you only hang out with people that eat like crap, you're going to eat like crap. If you only hang out with people that drink, you're going to drink. You're not going to have any success until you distance yourself, make those boundaries, and accept that not everybody's going to change along with you. All you can do is, like, hope, wish, and pray for them that one day they will want better for themselves and one day they will actually do it. Until then, you just have to do what's best for you. Don't let anybody, don't let anybody like push you into drinking. Peer pressure, so, like society, like any of the ads, you just have to take a deep breath and realize you've got this and Alcohol is not the answer. Too many of us, just like myself, have thought for far too long that alcohol is the answer. And I am living proof that you can become the drink, you can become the drinker and then unbecome the drinker. Funny how that works. And here I am, like completely fine being sober now, even though there are some people that like aren't okay per se with us completely not drinking or they don't understand like, well, why can't you have fun once in a while? Well, that's not the answer. So you have to be okay with and not being the drinker. You have to be okay with changing your life. You have to be okay with setting the boundaries and accepting people for who they are and they have to accept you for who you are and they have to accept your boundaries. So that's what I've learned. And time will only tell how much, or like, you just have to want it bad enough. And you have to stay strong in your own, like, mindset. Don't let anybody push you around. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Alcohol is not healthy for you. Boundaries are healthy. So keep it up. And... If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. I will catch you on the next one.